I remember in the first few months of us dating, uh, I had a free day and I wanted to invite you to Highlands. We, <laughs> I, we had just started dating, we were only dating for a couple months, so uh, I was like, how am I gonna do this, how am I gonna do this? And I get on my text message and I'm pacing back and forth from my kitchen to my bedroom, from my kitchen to my bedroom. So I hope she doesn't think I'm some sort of weirdo. <laughs> um, thankfully you said yes. And uh, I'd soon come to know that you don't say no to beach days very often. <laughs> um, there was a moment that day when you were coming out of the water and I was sitting on a chair and our eyes met. And in that split second, I saw forever. I saw us grow old together. I saw us raise a family together. I saw us loving each other. During the school year, we have less times for our beach days. And we spent a lot of time together, you and I, just standing over the oven, cooking dinner. Um, some of my best nights are just hanging out with you, cooking dinner. And I'd also come to learn that you're probably the best cook I've ever met in my life, easily, no doubt. <laughs> and it's not w the most fancy ingredients that makes it the best, and it's not f anything fancy. It's what you put into it. It's the tender love and care that you put into it. That's that same love and care is the same thing that makes you the amazing woman you are today. <laughs> you add a little sweetness, like when you whisper in your ear, in my ear, that you love me every single night. You sprinkle on some kindness, like when you're the first person to congratulate me after a win, and the first person to console me after a loss. A scoop of drive and determination, like you when, when you would wake up at 4.30 a.m. in the brick, brick cold to go train and still have breakfast waiting for me when I woke up to go to work. A glob of caring, like every day, but one time that really stuck out to me was when I was sick. We were dating and you, you didn't tell me you were coming over. You just came over with everything for a chicken soup and you made me a chicken soup and you told me you loved me and then you left. And I couldn't believe that you did that. It was so nice. <laughs> a little spice, like when you tear up the dance floor, like you guys are gonna see later today. And an entire helping of goodness and love, which you pour on me every single day. About four years ago, we met at a bar and ended the night together dancing to Spanish music. They say you find love when you least expect it, and for us, that was certainly the case. Thinking back on the journeys we have taken, the adventures we have had, and the life we have built since then, makes me so thankful that we happened to meet that night. There are so many qualities that I love and admire about you, Tim. You have a kind soul, you look out for others, and you are always trying to do the right thing. I see this on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's staying on the phone late at night, supporting a student that's going through a difficult time, or rushing down to the East River during your run 
to help with a woman who is drowning. You keep life light with your silly jokes and your sense of humor. You have a strong bond with your family and your brothers, and you are loyal in your friendships, and unfortunately, also with your sports teams. <laughs> Just kidding, let's go Mets! <laughs> You are one of the most creative and passionate people I know. Most importantly, every day you give me so much love and support, and you accept me and love me for who I am. That's the part where I cry. <laughs> Over these last four years, we have grown so much together. Through compromise, communication, and teamwork, we have built a home and a life that is filled with laughter, fun, and adventure. I love coming home to you every day, checking on the progress of the fig tree in the background and cooking up dinner with you by my side. I love that you give me the daily hug and every night you take time to tuck me into bed. I love that when I'm having a difficult day, you give me the first pick of the chicken thighs for dinner. I love that even in moments when we disagree, we discuss our issues, resolve them, instead of just pretending that they don't exist. I look forward to what the future holds for us and building a family. You are truly my beach partner and the only person that I want to body surf through the waves of life with forever. So Timmy, today, I vow to respect you, support you, and always encourage you. I promise to dream with you, to celebrate with you, and to stand beside you through whatever life brings. I vow to work with you through hardships and obstacles. I promise to always pursue you and to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I love you. On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. Love wakes you up all hours of the night with its needs. It needs to be fed so it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't like being left alone for long, but come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for life, but you can never be mad at love for long. Is love good all the time? No, no, love can be bad, bad love, bad, very bad love. Love makes messes. Love leaves you little surprises here and there. Love needs lots of cleaning up after. Sometimes you just want to get love fixed. Sometimes you want to roll up a piece of newspaper and swat love on the nose, not so much to cause pain, just to let love know don't you ever do that again. <laughs> Sometimes love just wants to go out for a nice long walk because love loves exercise. It will run you around the block and leave you panting, breathless, pull you in different directions at once or wind itself around and around you until you're wound up and you cannot move. But love makes you, make, makes you meet people wherever you go. People who have nothing in common but love stop and talk to each other on the street. Throw things away, and love will bring them back again and again and again. But most of all, love needs love. Lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. Now for the first time, I present Tim and Maria as husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Ha, 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 ha.